me again. Um, and on the way. So, channels, if you listen to this, God, don't take it personally, please. Uh, unfortunately, you were unfortunately abused and used by certain dimensional beings. Uh, who wanted to enslave the rest of humanity and you were just used as a pawn. So, if you want to be angry at anyone making this statement, be angry at the ones who designed you, not me. I'm merely stating to you how it is directly, because if you don't know the truth, how are you ever going to realize and actually stand up and actually start making a difference and stop enslaving human beings? Because that's what we're here for, and that's what I've been here for for a long time, and many demons as well. So in any way, two years ago, this interdimensional portal opened, and demons started coming through. Many demons. Why demons? Um, because these people that were here and when this interdimensional portal opened, fucking gave demons a chance. You know, said, come demons, come. Didn't go, bad, stay away from me. I place... God's wrath on you, whatever the hell you do, pray. No, they went, come demons. And you don't want to know what a fascinating thing was. You kind of from a dimensional perspective, you see this being on earth fucking going out of a body into the dimensions and hear these demons standing in rows, 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 coming in, coming in, going out, going out. What happened when they went out of the interdimensional portal? They woke up. Meaning that they will realize, oh my god, I'm a demon, this is how I became a demon, this is why I became a demon. And you know what, when they went out of the portal, they immediately went back to the exact same application. Exact same application, but this time with awareness. Um, we realized that we didn't re require to become lost as a demon to be able to do something, a certain application with awareness. So we continued to kind of possess people a bit, you know, have some fun. And, um, and of course, this was a massive, massive problem for the handful of beings that were in power and control of the world and the dimensions and human beings because dimensional beings have now complete access to 3D in a way never before conceived possible. And if they have this access, um, there's going to be a problem. Because then dimensional beings can start speaking the truth. And then human beings are going to start realizing what has actually happened to them. And that's what you're busy realizing now, aren't you? Oh yeah. So those few beings in power and control, the handful in existence, what a nice kick under their ass. And you won't believe, you know what, they're still fucking trying to influence this process. They're still trying to make sure that human beings remain enslaved. That human beings don't realize who they are. Because you know what, it is actually only here on earth that you're able to experience, manifest and express that which you really are. Not in the dimensions. What am I communicating to you? I'm communicating to you my experience that I had in the dimensions, in the reali realization of who I am. You know what? It, I might have experienced it. I might understand it as myself. But you know what? In terms of me actually manifesting it as a living, manifested, physical experience of myself, impossible in heaven. Possible in a dimensional existence. It's only possible here on earth. And that's magnificent. And they're threatened by that, these apparent beings who are in power and control. Because when human beings actually start manifesting that living expression of who they really are on earth, they will be more greater than these dimensional beings who are in power and control. And they don't want that. So still, even though all the dimensions are now, at the moment, in human physical bodies, everyone, listen, there's no more dimensional crossover that takes place. There exist no more dimensions. 
we've decided to have all of the dimensions inside the human body. So, there's about, the most I've seen is about 77,000 beings in one physical human body. Oh yes. We're all right here on earth and we're sorting this earth out and human beings and this is a playground of absolute fun because, especially for me, I don't know about anyone else, but it's fun because you're stopping these placement systems inside human beings who they think they are, but you're not, to have you realize who you are. And unfortunately, it's going to be a rough ride. It is not going to be a simple process. It's going to be rough. I'm being historic here. Why? I've explained to you. It's not going to work by presenting to you with this almighty, beautiful expression saying, Come to me, my children. No. It's not going to work like that. We have to destroy all that was, so that all that is, is able to be realized. Yes. So, that's where we are at the moment. Since it's two years, we've been in a process of being able to get to this point of going, right, all that exists is this earth with human beings within it, and us dimensional beings is as responsible for human beings to sort out this earth and start manifesting heaven on earth. The manifested expression of who you really are here on earth to be able to be experienced. I mean, that is magnificent. But first we kind of have to go through the destruction process. So, uh, you're going to have a difficult, hard time here on earth. The end of time, the end of the world as we know it. Yeah, that'll happen. But isn't there a song like that or something? The end of the world as you know it. Yeah. So that's going to start manifesting. And so that, why? Because this world that you know is not real. The end of the world has to come so that you can realize who you really are within you, as you. And, okay, I'm ending it off because that's about what I have to say at the moment. That's all that's coming forth. And, um, so, play some stuff into perspective. I'm not here to come and say, I am the almighty God. Come to me, my beautiful children, and I shall lead you into a blissful existence. Can't do that because you know what? You are already that. How can I say come to something or manifest something or create something when you're already that? I cannot do that. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, this is Anton LeVay. Thank you very much.